Hi, welcome to Property Inspect and Management Android app. In this video, I will talk about how to install the application and do the basic setup. I have an Android 10.1 inch tablet. It's a Samsung Galaxy and has the Android 6.0 Marshmallow version. So I will locate the Play Store icon and I'll touch the Play Store icon. This will take me to the search bar and there I will write Property Inspect Management. On the search, the very first icon in orange is the Property Inspect app. I will swipe it. Now this is a 21 MB file so I will recommend to use it over the Wi-Fi or if you have a high speed internet you can directly install on the cellular data as well. Now I already have installed it so I'll go ahead and open it. Now this will first time open the application on my device so it would ask the permission to access the photos, media and files because the application does use the camera uh, to store the PDF files on your device. So I would allow it. And then these are the basic introduction about the app. So as it says the device independent, we have all the information stored on the secured Microsoft clouds that will keep you safe in event of losing the phone or any crash in the devices. Your all data is persisted and always available. These are the dynamic property features. So it's of course you could do any possible kind of property inspection, be it a commercial property, rental condo, multi-tenant condominium, or a home inspection, mall, airport, because you could add any property features like elevator, swimming pool. You can define your own property and then perform the inspection. The schedule future visit, it gives you a single stop where you could schedule your future visits. The app will notify you with the icon and sound in your notification bar when it's a time to start that inspection. Or the image edit feature, during the inspection process, uh, we can take the picture and we can mark with our finger swipe any focus area in the picture. So it makes it really focused for your customer to see the major impact points. An electronic signature. So the app provides option to electronically sign by the customer and the inspector. And once we perform the inspection process, the app makes it really easy to generate an invoice to your customer based on the inspection data. And the dashboard will provide you all the options to look up prior inspections. You can edit them, send email to your customer, all that good stuff. And the app customization is the process where we can tailor the app based on your specific business requirement. If you need any additional information in the application or want some customization, feel free to reach us and we can make that happen for you. So with that, I'll press done. Now inside this, we have option to Google plus sign in or with the normal standard email and password. So if you do not want to sign, you can register with your email ID, but the most easy and preferred option is the Google Plus or with your Gmail ID. So on the top bar where we see the G, I will touch that and it will open my Gmail account and ask me to log in with that. Once I touch that, it opens that. I'll allow it. Now it's signing in inside the app. Now this is the very first home screen of the application. 
where we see eight different icons and which has clear definition what it does now before we start further in the app we need to make sure we provide two basic information about the inspection company and settings like how I would like to do it so I would go ahead and touch the top left menu item it will open a variety of options we would need to set up the top two items so I would go in the user profile and in this app I already have it but in for the first time user you will have to put the company name address all the details at the bottom we have the inspector name and then the add prefix of inspection report number we click on the camera icon and then we can select a logo for the company logo and save it now the second item is the settings setting is also it is divided in the sections the very first is the conditions so for each inspection point by default it will give you three options good repair or replace but based on your practice you could change them instead of good I may write excellent and I can change the color when it is in the excellent condition it's going to appear with this color for the repair it's going to appear with this color I can change the color or the language likewise for all three conditions and the third option is the area unit so based on the geographic location there are different standards for that and based on that you could select how the area would look or inspection price this is also a default field where I would put a default number it will appear on the reports and agreement prefix now what we write here it will be an incremental number for each new agreement now this is the most important section default inspection type the app provides two different inspection types a quick inspection and a detailed inspection the quick inspection use the standard industry best practices uh, it is with the combination of InterNACHI and ASHI standards of inspection and the various training institutes or home inspector training institutes so those include those standard features and user would not have to define those property features in the detailed inspection you could define your own property features that means how many rooms garage all kind of details and you can add new property features whichever you like so we would go ahead with the quick inspection and at the bottom we have the report templates that we could select I would go with the default selected one and save this information now at this point we are ready to start a standard inspection so I'll click on the start inspection we have all the information pre-filled in weather condition one more thing before that we have to have one customer and a property to inspect so I would go in the property and add a new property for test I already have one property so I would go ahead with that and likewise I do have a customer so I'll go ahead and use one of the existing customer I'll go back and start inspection the weather condition is a optional field if you would like to put it we can put or we can skip it to add the property details I will click on the plus sign and it will take the property from the existing list and add property image 
So this is the section where we could add the property front and that would be appear on the front of the report. So we should try to take a nice property front picture and there it give me option to add the client to the customer we are preparing the report for and we are all ready to start the standard inspection so on click of the bottom start inspection it will open those standard inspection options we can go ahead and start with the roof inside the roof it gives five different options we're going to go with the first one the roof covering materials and there we could define more details so here we have option either to take a picture or use it from the gallery the left side camera we can use to take a picture and mark the condition of covering material so i'll go ahead and use the gallery and for testing purpose i will just use one of the images and mark the condition now in the notes section we have option to write the notes or use the voice notes i will write the voice notes roof appear in good condition okay so i guess with the recording the mic is not functioning so i would write roof is in good condition And I will touch the top side. Now we see it has turned into a green color that suggests that that inspection process is completed. That particular inspection point. I can go in the gutter, do the same process again and come back. So that's how we would do our standard inspection. With one item to another item. For testing purpose, we would do one more. We're going to do the heating. We're going to write HVAC. Uh, I need a repair. Need regular maintenance. We're going to mark it. So we have done two inspection points. Now we're going to proceed further. This is the final inspector remarks where inspector would write about overall property features. And we have the opportunity to take the customer signature if the customer is available. And we are ready with all the information to generate the report. So here we are ready with a sample property inspection report. With the images and the pictures. So we try to make it a real simple steps. Now we'll go back and see in the dashboard. We have one report ready. We have option to view the PDF, send PDF via email to a customer. So we're going to click on the send PDF and it will give us option. You can send through the email, save to drive, add to Dropbox, all variety of options available. And at the bottom you see Samsung print. So you could print the PDF report if you have a, a app enabled printer, which is, I use the Canon 
print app to do the same in the next step we're going to try to create an invoice based on this inspection so i click on the create invoice it has pre-filled all the information what is needed or uh, with a due date advanced by seven days and that is in the settings we can change we're going to just write it and generate the invoice so it's a really simple process to generate customer invoice I can go ahead and share it from here or I can go back to the invoice process and send it from here too so I'll have all the opportunity to send the invoice in the same manner as the inspection report so those are the major components of the application the two schedule and task reminder the schedule is an option where I can select a customer write the property address the inspection date and time and I can write the notes related to that and it will save a new record for a future schedule on the particular day it will provide a notification so inspector knows it's time to start the inspection and the task reminder is for the journal task where you could write any business related type like proper expense report so if I have to do that task on the month end I would mark 30th of November at 11 a.m. and it will set a reminder for the given time so that is all for the app at this point I hope it makes as a professional property inspector your process much easier and it saves time for you so you could do more inspection and finish everything in one go so I want to say thank you for your time have a good day Bye.